Well, research shows nearly 40% of teenagers have sent sexually suggestive messages through text, email, or instant messaging. 40%. Tonight, a Meridian police officer is teaching parents and students about the dangers of sexting and how to stop it. Six on your side, Stephanie Hale Lopez has the story. Kids and their smartphones. To parents, it's often a mystery what's on their screens. Why are our children doing what they're doing? School resource officer Ray Ellis says sexting among children and teens is more common and hits closer to home than we think. We were arresting or writing charges for a lot of kids for sexting because of the fact that it was creating and possession of child pornography, but we weren't doing a lot about the problem. We were just reacting to it. Working closely with school counselors, Officer Ellis says they help educate students on the dangers of sexting, dealing with the why. We have to deal with why they're using it and then help them understand that if they have gotten involved with using it, that's where the addictive behavior comes in and now they may, they may not be totally in control of what they're doing. His work with local students is what inspired Officer Ellis to offer a workshop on the issue of sexting. For concerned parents, he says keep up the open dialogue with your kids. As responsible adults, I think it's our responsibility as a community, whether professionally or working in the school or just out, to speak into the lives of the youth around us because they only get one chance at being kids. Stephanie Hill Lopez, six on your side. Highly recommend Officer Ellis's workshop. It is tonight from 6.30 until 8 o'clock at Heritage Middle School in Meridian. It is free. Anybody can go. In fact, students are also welcome to attend.